Hello everyone, my name is Travis and I'm the Chief Technology Officer and Founder of Nodespace Hosting. Today I'm going to be taking you through a comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up a powerful LAMP server using Alma Linux 8.8. A LAMP server, which stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, or MariaDB, and PHP, is a robust foundation for hosting dynamic websites and applications. I've chosen Alma Linux, which is a reliable enterprise Linux distribution as the base for this setup, and it's popular within the web hosting industry. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now the first step is to have a server running Alma Linux. This can be a VPS or dedicated server. And if you're doing this at home, it can be a virtual machine on a virtualization host, such as Proxmox, or on your local computer using VirtualBox. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to install Alma Linux in this tutorial, but it's very easy and straightforward. You're gonna connect to your server using SSH, so a good SSH client is needed. We have directions on how to use SSH in our documentation, and a link to this documentation is available in the video description. And as you can see here, this is our documentation page. Uh, this will show you various operating systems such as Windows, Mac, Linux, even iOS and Android. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be connecting using a user called Alma Linux that has administrative permissions. You can also use the root user, but that's not recommended for security purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the IP address of my server and connect. Now, the first time you connect to a Linux server, you're going to see a warning about the host key not being within uh, your local system. So if you see a prompt like this, you can go ahead and click on accept and save or type yes. Uh, depending on your SSH client, it may just be a, a simple pop-up window like this, or you may actually have to just type in yes or Y and hit enter. So I'm gonna accept and save. And now I'm going to type in my local username. In this case, it's on the Linux. I have an SSH key set up on my system, but the remote server does not have that and we're not gonna cover that in this. So I'm just gonna click on skip. And now I'm going to type in my super secure password. All right, now we are connected. So first things first, it's essential to update the system to ensure that you have the latest software packages and security patches. You'll want to go ahead and type in the following command, sudo dnf update and press enter. And because I am not running as root, I need to provide my password. All right, and with this message, it means that our system is up to date. So we're good there. However, if you notice that there are any kernel updates or a large number of updates, you'll want to reboot your server to apply them. Now the next step is to install the Apache web server. Apache is a powerful web server that'll handle HTTP requests for your website. So let's go ahead and install it using the package manager. So we'll just use the command sudo dnf install httpd. Uh, that is the name of the Apache web server on Alma Linux. All right, and you can see that we are going to be installing httpd and it has the following dependencies. So we'll just type yes and enter. Now that Apache is installed, let's start the service and enable it to start on boot. 
we're going to do that with the following commands sudo systemctl start httpd press enter and now the uh, apache web server is running however if i was to reboot the system apache would have to be restarted so we're going to enable it to start on boot automatically and that is the command sudo systemctl enable httpd and press enter now before moving on we need to allow web traffic through the firewall to do this we're going to enter the following commands sudo firewall dash cmd dash dash add dash service equal sign http dash dash permanent press enter and now the next thing we need to do is also enable https if we're going to have secured websites on this server so again we'll just do sudo firewall cmd dash dash add dash service equals https dash dash permanent and press enter and then finally we need to reload the firewall and we'll do that with the command sudo firewall dash cmd dash dash reload and now port 80 and port 443 are open on our server now if you're following along using one of our dedicated servers or a vps server we provide alma linux with the firewall disabled and if you want to check that if the firewall is running you can execute the following command and that'll be sudo systemctl status firewall d and press enter you can see right here that the firewall is active and running now the next thing we are going to do is install and enable the remy repository uh, otherwise known as remy repo and the remy repo provides the latest versions of php packages as by default alma linux actually ships an older version of php now before we install the remy repo we need to also install a prerequisite which is known as epel or epel so we're going to do that with sudo dnf install epel dash release and press enter and then something i like to do as well is i will copy this command right here slash usr slash bin slash crb space enable and this will oops helps if you do it as sudo and this will enable the crb repo which is otherwise known as power tools power tools includes a bunch of extras that some software from epel will actually rely on so it's always good to enable that now that we have epel installed let's go ahead and install the remy repo for enterprise linux 8 sudo and i just went to rpms.remyrepo.net and copied and pasted the command from there so i'm going to press enter and there we go now it's asking us if we want to install the repo and so we're going to press y and enter and now remy repo is installed now what we need to do is tell dnf to look at the remy repo for php and we are going to enable php 8.1 from the remy repo as the default php version so we're going to do that with the command sudo dnf module enable php colon remy dash 8.1 and press enter
So now we can go ahead and install PHP 8.1 and some of the commonly used modules. So to do this, we're going to run the command sudo dnf install php php-cli php-fpm and php-mysqlnd and press enter. We'll go ahead and accept We're going to accept the key. And now PHP and some modules are installed. Now, if you find out later on that you need an additional PHP module, you can just run the command sudo dnf install php dash and then the module name. Now we're going to start and enable PHP FPM. PHP FPM, which stands for Fast CGI Process Manager, it's necessary to handle PHP requests efficiently. So let's start the PHP FPM service and enable it on boot. So just like Apache, we're going to type in the command sudo systemctl start php dash fpm press enter and then to enable it on boot sudo systemctl enable php dash fpm and press enter now the next step is to test php and ensure that php 8.1 is working correctly so to do this, we're going to create a test PHP file in the server's root directory. Uh, we're just going to do cd slash var slash www slash html and press enter. And now we are in the web directory root. So now we're just going to type in sudo nano php info.php. And now we are in the nano text editor. And in the nano editor, we're just going to go ahead and type in our PHP. We're gonna press Control X to save, Y and enter. Okay, so now we've created a PHP info file that runs the PHP info function. So now we're going to open up a web page and we're going to go to our file. So in this case, it'll be HTTP colon slash slash. And for me, 10.200.15.179 slash PHP info dot PHP. There we go. All right, so because I enabled uh, PHP FPM, I needed to actually also restart the Apache web server, and that is what I did here. I just issued a systemctl restart httpd, and because I forgot to issue sudo, uh, systemctl is nice enough to actually prompt you for authentication, so I authenticated and now it loads correctly. So this is what we expect to see and this will tell us everything that we need to know about our PHP configuration. All right, so to install MariaDB, we're just going to do sudo dnf install MariaDB dash and uh, Maria db dash server and press enter. Go ahead and accept.
All right, and now once that MariaDB is installed, we are going to start the service and enable it. So just like all the other services, type in sudo system ctl start, and we're gonna type in MariaDB and press enter. We are then gonna type in sudo systemctl enable MariaDB. And now MariaDB will automatically start when our server boots. Now, before we go any further, it's essential to secure our MariaDB installation by running a script that will set a root password and remove some default settings. So we're going to execute the following command and then follow the prompts. So type in sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation and press enter. Since we don't have a root password and just for clarification in case you are using the root account on your server, this is actually the MySQL or MariaDB root password. Press Y and enter. And now put in a relatively secure root password. And then you'll just need to confirm and you'll see that the password was changed. Next, we want to remove anonymous users. So we'll just hit Y and enter. Another good thing to do is to disallow root login remotely. So again, we're going to press Y and enter. Uh, there's no reason to keep the test database and the access to it. So again, hit Y and enter. And finally, we need to reload the privilege tables to make sure that all the changes we made are applied. So we'll hit Y and enter. And that's it. MariaDB is now set up. So congratulations, you've successfully set up a LAMP server with PHP 8.1 on your Alma Linux 8.8 system. Now you have a powerful platform to host websites and applications with the latest PHP version. Remember, security is paramount, so keep your software up to date and regularly back up your data. If you're gonna be running the server on the internet, you should take additional steps to harden Apache and PHP. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. If you wanna check out our hosting, visit us at nodespace.com. Thank you so much for watching and happy coding.